U.S.-based aircraft manufacturer has carried out an exhibition flight in New York of its first ever electric air taxi, a service that could become available to the public in 2025. 미국의 한 항공기 제조업체가 뉴욕에서 자사의 첫 전기 에어 택시의 시험 비행을 마쳤습니다. 이 택시는 오는 2025년부터 본격 상업 서비스를 계획하고 있습니다. An air taxi. An electric air taxi. An electric air taxi. They're apparently going to have zero emissions and be very, very quiet. That's wow. the other thing. I watched a video on it, and mm. the CEO was talking about it, and it sh- like I got to see it taking off. That in the sounds video. so cool. It, I thought it was going to be much bigger. They're a lot smaller than I thought, so they mm-hmm. can only fit the pilot and four passengers. All right. Up to four passengers. Mm-hmm. 여러분, 에어 택시, 또 이제 전기 에어 택시 얘기를 하고 있는 겁니다. I feel like I'm you know, talking about the future, but it's yep. really happening it, right it now. It really could, yeah. yeah. Oh, Looks right. like it. And by 2025 in America, I guess. Uh, well, they're saying be... in this in New York. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is... Not all across America. No, not just all across America. So okay. that's why this exhibition flight was just in, in Man- downtown Manhattan. Mm. Um, so the manufacturer is called Joby Aviation. Um, and this was the first time they ever flew in this urban setting. Um, and now what they, what they really hope is that what, what they're saying, what the CEO said, is that the idea is that it's going to be like the way you do ride share, use a ride share app. Yeah. It's going to be basically like that. And they're also saying the price is going to be comparable. So like taking an Uber, it's going to really? basically be like that. Mm. So they say right now. It looks like a big drone, yeah, right? Yeah, kind of. Um, it and looks a, like a helicopter too. Yeah, yeah, a helicopter with propellers on the yep. many propellers on the top. Right, so know, it, like so it, it it takes off and lands vertically, but then it yeah. flies yeah. straight. Oh my goodness! Okay, so the first expression here is that it's based in New York. It says U.S. based. U.S. based. Yeah. It, it, I, I'm not sure where the the manufacturer is. It's somewhere oh, in the I U.S. See. If it was New York, it could have said New ah, York based as well. Right. So you can I put see. city or you can put. Or you can put country. So you can use this for products and also people as well. Sure. Yeah. You, yeah. you usually it's for companies a lot of the time. Mm. But I guess but, you could use it for people. But you could say like I'm based in. You know, sure. I'm based in Seoul. Yeah. Or I'm our Seoul-based in... reporter, our yeah. Beijing-based reporter. Sure. Mm. 그래요. 이렇게 어떤 물건에 대해서 얘기도 하지만 사람에 대해서도요. 이제 주로 직장을 기준으로 얘기를 많이 하는 것 같아요. Some people live in one area and they work in a different area, but they'll still say I'm based in the area that I, I work in, right? If mm-hmm. they're talking about their job. No? Yeah, probably. I don't know. It depends. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Ah, 그렇군요. 뭐 이제 자기 고향을 기준으로 또 말할 수도 있겠네요. 그러니까 어디가 기지라는 거죠, 한마디로. 자, 그래서 여기서는 US-based aircraft manufacturer라고 했습니다. 미국의 항공기 제조업체 얘기를 하고 있고요. Now this... Exhibition flight has been carried out. Yeah, sure has. Yeah. So, whenever time you see exhibition, you know that it's basically means practice. Mm. It's not. So, in in this case, the exhibition flight, it's like practice flight. There's no passengers. Yeah. Um, and like a lot of times, we'll talk about exhibition games in sports. Mm. So, before the season starts, they'll have exhibition games and they're warm up. Mm-hmm. Doesn't count towards the stati- the standings for the season, so uh, it's just an exhibition. Uh-huh. Or like in boxing, or boxing, a lot of times boxers will have exhibition fights, so it doesn't count towards their professional record. Is it just for the fans? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's more like a showcase. Ah, showcase 같은 느낌이군요. Exhibition이라는 단어 자체가 전시라는 의미가 있어서 exhibition fight는 이 권투 선수들이 실제 시합을 하는 게 아니라 그냥 팬들을 위해서 보여주는 그런 시합이라고 시합이 아니라 어, 뭐라 그럴까요? 권투를 그냥 음, 팬 팬들에게 보여주는 거죠. 이 점수나 이런 게 하나도 중요하지 않고 어, 그런 게 있을 수 있고요. 여기서 exhibition flight는 시험 비행이라는 의미로 썼습니다. Uh, it says it will. It the exhibition flight was at a f- uh, speed of 320 kilometers an hour. Yeah, they can really move fast. It's very it's, fast, and it's only going to take yeah. seven minutes to get from JFK Airport to downtown Manhattan. 
Wow. How, do you know how long it normally takes by taxi or... I'm sure a lot longer than that. Right, right, I, more I, than seven I, minutes, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I saw the video and it mm. showed how it just it just basically takes off, flies yeah. over well, I mean, one of those rivers. Now, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not wow. an expert on, on New York mm. um, geography. Nor am I, but uh, yeah, this is obviously... Extremely fast yep. and quiet, as you said. Yeah, as well. that's your, and yeah, zero it. emissions. Yes, of course. 일단 친환경이니까 예, zero emissions. 그 다음에는 electric car 다 보니 electric car가 아니죠. Electric um, plane. Helicopter 해서. in this case. Uh, helicopter. Yeah. 그래서 소음도 없고요. 그 다음에 시속 320km라고 하니까 상당히 빠르군요. And that's what the CEO was saying in the interview, that because they're so quiet, yeah. this opens up a lot of opportunities to where these air taxis could land and take off from because they're so quiet. They yeah. could just make these helipads in, in you know, basically in a city because wow. they, they can just come in and... If there's lots of office buildings or schools around, mm. you know, if a helicopter is landing, it's yeah. going to be super loud, but these aren't going to be like that. I wonder if within the next couple of decades or just one decade here in Korea, we'll be commuting by air taxis. Yeah, there's, there sounds like it's possible. It sounds mm. like it's very possible. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here it is again. A U.S.-based aircraft manufacturer has carried out an exhibition flight in New York of its first-ever electric air taxi, a service that could become available to the public in 2025. Now let's move on to the next headline.